Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to the first day in palette week. My mid-year palette week is coming to you like a month and a half late. I apologize for that. I am so far behind on all things YouTube, but I feel like I'm finally getting caught up and it makes me so happy and so excited. So today for the first video in palette week, palette week every single day for a full week, I'll be sharing some sort of palette themed content, but today we are going to be updating my palettes on their last two raw. My palettes on their last two raw is the series I started last year in sort of like a chopping block esque sort of way. It started as a series where I had a bunch of palettes at the beginning of the year I wanted to use throughout the year 2021. And at the end of the year, my plan was to declutter those palettes, but then it kind of turned into a chopping block style series because there were certain palettes that I truly just couldn't part with. So I do have the palettes to update you on today. I believe I have 10, maybe 11. Um, I do have a few that I'm considering decluttering and one new palette I will be bringing in. So if you're interested in my update on the on my palettes on their last two raw series, stay tuned for if you have yet to subscribe to my channel and you like project painting content, palette themed content, or just chit chatting about makeup, I would love if you'd consider subscribing before moving on. And other than that, let's get into the video. All right, you guys, if you are new to this series, I will have my series playlist linked down below. I don't feel like I have any particular order to go in. Um, so maybe we'll start with the palette that gave me the idea for this series two years ago. It is my ABH Mario palette. I just cannot get myself to part ways with this palette. I should have pictures, um, like progress pictures to show you like how any of the pans in the palettes may be expanding. I have reached for this an additional 12 times since the last update. So I have been reaching for this palette quite a bit. And I know I said in my introduction, like no matter what, no matter like where we're at with this palette at the end of the year, I truly do need to declutter it. And I still do feel that way, especially because I feel like like the satin shades, when I use them all over the lid, like they just don't stay on like they used to but i truly love this palette for this shade specifically even though this is probably really similar to a shade in my abh soul tree palette like it's like these three shades that i cannot get myself to part with this palette for i also really like like this l of shimmer or like satin shades but like i said they just don't stay on my eyes like they once did every time i'm like i really need to declutter this palette by the end of the year it like pains me to think about doing so. I am going to do my last day of palette week is going to be a palette declutter and I have started to set aside palettes that I need to declutter and in my head I'm like I really do need to just declutter this. I would love to like use up this whole pan of eyeshadow or I wonder if I could like easily depot like these three shades and then declutter this palette. Like maybe that's what I truly need to do. This palette is so janky, so old, but it holds like this sentimental value in my heart as well. And I just cannot get myself to declutter it. So there's been some good progress, I feel like, on the shade Lula. Aside from that, I, I don't reach for this palette for a whole lot else, but that's where we're at with that one. Another palette that I've used quite a bit um, in the since the last update is my Dose of Colors Frankation palette. This was rolled into my Pan Those Eyeshadows. My Pan Those Eyeshadows I haven't updated in a bit. I think I'm going to start to do Pan on every palette again. Um, and I actually think I'm going to restart that series during palette week. I haven't filmed it yet. I haven't really decided what I'm doing. But this is a palette I just wasn't reaching for. But I love this palette for some reason because it's limited edition. I was doing that thing where I felt like I had to reserve this for special occasions. This is like my go-to special occasion palette. Uh, I, wear, I have worn this to like a, quite a few country concerts specifically is like what this palette is for me um but i have reached for this an additional eight times since the last update which makes me excited i still don't have any pans this shade did shatter and i repressed it into this palette but i don't believe i'll re i don't believe i will declutter this at the end of the year i do still love this palette i love reaching for it and i'm glad that i've been getting some use on this about another palette that i don't think i'll declutter is my huda beauty smoky obsessions palette i always get super nervous to open this because these three shades have all like had to be repressed because they have shattered. I do have one pan in this palette, which I did, like this pan is new to this 
palette this year. Um, so very excited about that. I have reached for this palette seven total times um, since the last update. I'm not sure I reached for it at all since the last update, uh, but I'm very excited about this. I love this palette in total. This used to be my go-to travel palette, but now I'm too nervous to travel with this. But if I want like a beautiful sultry look, this is my go-to palette. I love the shimmers in here. I really do love this matte shade as well. And this is just an all-time favorite for me from Huda Beauty. A palette I know I won't declutter is my Dose, not Dose, Dominique Cosmetics Latte Palette. I put this palette in this series specifically kind of as like a chopping block palette um, and while I have, think I've only reached for this two additional times since the last update I do really love the quality of this palette and I feel like this is a great staple palette for me to have in my collection it has all the basics that I need the shimmers or the foil shades are super intense and I just like the way that the matte shades in this perform as well I'm very excited to reach for this in the fall time just because I believe this is such a beautiful like fall vibey sort of palette um, so I know I won't be decluttering this palette I almost want to take this one out of this series just because no I'll just keep it in I'll keep it in and I'll update you at the end of the year and we'll see how many times I used it but I don't foresee myself decluttering this at the end of 2022 a palette I'm super undecided about is my ABH Carly palette and I feel like I need to just declutter this but every time I like decide I'm gonna declutter it I talk myself into keeping it realistically i just do not get excited about this palette and i don't know why i feel the need to keep this i mm, i have not done my declutter yet for my palette declutter this is a palette that like maybe on the chopping block it's really funny because when i sat down to film this i like opened this up just to look at it and i was like oh yeah definitely not gonna declutter and now that i'm sitting looking at it again i'm like really the only reason i would keep this palette is for like this chai shade which i'm sure i have in my collection as well as like i do love these with the pants also sometimes if i have a palette that has multiple pans in it i struggle more to declutter it just because i feel like i put a lot of effort into hitting pan on the eyeshadow shades but like this palette just does not get me excited to reach for it so you may see this getting decluttered in my upcoming palette declutter a palette i've pretty much decided i'm going to declutter is this one right here this is the Too faced palm springs dream palette this is what this one looks like i don't believe i've reached for this at all since the last update i do like some of the shades in this palette but like honestly i have such a large palette collection that i already feel overwhelmed and this just isn't a palette that i get excited to reach for there's so many other palettes that if i were to reach for this palette over my other palettes I would be like, oh, I'd, I'd rather be reaching for specific other palettes. So then it's like, why am I even really keeping this around? So this is one I do anticipate will be getting the boot during my palette declutter video. A palette that kind of like surprises me, but I do anticipate you'll see this in my palette declutter video is my ABH Amorese palette. You guys convince me I just don't need this palette and I just don't think I do. I don't get excited about this one. Um, even in this series, I maybe reached for this two times. I've really been keeping this around for the shade Barb and Cupcake, but I I can order single shadows off of like an indie site that would be just as good or better than those shades. So I really just feel like I'm keeping this palette around for nothing. And I think it's time, I truly think it's time to declutter this one. By the way, as we're going through these palettes, I would love your feedback and comments in the comments below. Like, what do you think I should keep? What should I get rid of? I um, always laugh sometimes when I read like the comments about like my ABH Mario palette, like girlfriend, get it together and declutter that. And I like truly just cannot get myself to declutter. Another palette that I feel like is permanently on my chopping block, but I can never get myself to declutter is this one from Pat McGrath. Now I have reached for this five times since my last update um, and truly, and truly, I do love this palette, specifically for this shade right here. I also like the matte browns. Honestly, I like five of the shades in here. I just really don't like this blue shade. And I hate the packaging of this. It's really the packaging that kind of deters me from using this palette. But, like, it's actually really annoying. I think I will hold on to this just because I do really enjoy some of those shades. And I feel like this would be, like, one of those palettes that if I did declutter this, I would regret it. Like, I would think about it in my sleep at night and regret it. But... 
it's always permanently on the chopping block in my opinion let me know in the comments below what you think i should do with that palette another very expensive palette is my natasha denona lila palette now i put this palette in here because it's my oldest natasha denona palette i didn't include this in this series necessarily because i felt like i was going to declutter it at the end of the year i have reached for this six times since my last update i love this bottom row of shimmers and i do really like the way that the mattes perform in this palette as well but some of these shades also just like don't get me super excited like this row right here i'm like Meh. But I do, I like, I love some of the shimmers in here. I'm happy that this is getting used and I'm reaching for this because I do feel like this was a rather neglected palette in my collection. And this cost me so much money. This is $129. This is my first Natasha purchase. So I want to be getting use out of this. My Colored Rain Queen of Hearts palette. I just do not feel like motivated and excited about this palette. I am going to keep it for the time being. I'm going to see how much use I get out of this in the fall time. It's a beautiful palette. I do like the color story. The quality is really good, but for some reason, I just cannot motivate myself to reach into this palette. That's why I included it in this series, and I've only reached for this two times since the last update, so not a lot. Like I said, this is more of a fall vibed palette for me, so hopefully I'll get some more use out of this come this fall, but... So far, this has not gotten a lot of love for me. And I feel like this is another one of those palettes that's like always like in the back of my head, permanently on the chopping block. Another palette I feel like I should get rid of is this one from Tarte. This is the Too Faced Love Trust and Fairy Dust palette. This has a couple of pans in it, but it has some shattered shades. And I swear every time I open this, like the shades just keep getting more and more shattered. I wanted to keep this around until at least I hit pan on like these two shades right here because I do really enjoy those. But I also feel like uh, it's like the shade specifically, the shimmer, I just think is so beautiful. But I also like never reach into this palette. I think I've reached this palette one time since the last update. And it just like annoys me at like how messy it is because it's like so broken. This was in my pile of things that I was like sure I was going to declutter and then I swatched that shade magic and I'm like, but do I really want to? I'm sure I have a dupe for this somewhere in my collection, right? This does hold a place near and dear to my heart. I purchased this because I thought the packaging was super cute and when I purchased this, I remember specifically thinking like I'm purchasing this only because of the packaging. I have no intention of actually falling in love with this palette and then I did fall in love with the palette and I like really, really loved it. And so I don't know, like, I don't know. Will I declutter? Like, let me know in the comments below. Should I declutter this? Should I not? I can't decide what to do with that one. A palette I thought I would declutter, but I definitely don't think I'm going to, is this one from Marc Jacobs. This is the electric palette. Um, Marc Jacobs, I don't think is currently making makeup. This was limited edition regardless. I do have two pans in this palette now. Um, this is a new pan as of this year. I have reached for this an additional 12 times since the last update and I had reached for it quite a bit the first quarter of the year. I do want to keep reaching into this palette for some of these shimmer shades which I think are so beautiful and I honestly just have really enjoyed my time with this palette. I'm glad that I threw this into this series so that it got more use for me because it definitely was getting neglected but now I've like fallen in love with this. This is like last year I put the Urban Decay Born to Run palette in this series and I ended up using that palette so much that I was like why was I ever considering decluttering this? That's how I feel about this palette and I'm so glad to have gotten some great use on this. So those are all the palettes that were in my palettes on their last two raw series to update you on. There is one more palette I'm going to be including in this series. Now this is a palette that I do not believe I will declutter at the end of the year but I want to give myself more motivation to reach for this palette and it's one of my older palettes in my collection. It is a true love and a true favorite. It's the BH Cosmetics weekend festival palette i do have a couple of shades that have pan in this palette these two right here as well as this one right here because this palette is so colorful sometimes i feel like i neglect it and then like when i do want to do a colorful look i feel like sometimes i don't remember to reach for this so i want to just give myself that extra boost of motivation to give this palette a little bit more love because i already love this one so much i feel like this is going to be another like urban decay born to run situation where like i start heavily reaching for this and then i'm like oh my gosh i love this even more than i thought i did so i'm going to include this one in my palettes on their last two raw series as well we'll see how many times i use it come the end of the year as well as um, the difference in like what the pans look like at the end of the year. But after that, that is going to wrap up today's pan, today's palettes on their last two raw series and my update for it. Again, sound off in the comments below. Let a girl know what palettes should I like 
be getting rid of. Help me talk myself into decluttering some of these palettes because my palette collection is like incredibly overwhelming to me at this point in time, but I can't stop buying palettes. You know how it goes. Anyway, thank you guys so much for sticking around to watch today's video and for supporting my channel, for supporting Palette Week. I hope you're excited for the palette videos to come. As always too, if you have any palette themed content you would like to see from me, leave a comment down below. Let me know. I love your guys' ideas for content and it truly does help me out. But thank you so much for supporting me. As always, I love you guys so much and I'll catch you in tomorrow's video. Bye.